This is sick. Let's head down to the waterfront. This looks actually incredible. Look at this. I feel I've got some awesome drone footage, but I did manage to crash it into a bush here, just as I was landing. It's better than a tree and falling into the water though, so I'm sure it still works fine. We'll find out next time I try and use it. But honestly, this is such a nice place. Soak it in. I just want to show you how clear the water is here. Like, you can just see straight through it. And because it's a quarry, it just goes out, goes dark, goes down. So you do not want to swim here. A lot of these places have weird currents sometimes. It just kind of like the water falls and it could pull you down. That's more locks, but I'm sure quarries still have the same sort of thing. Right, now I'm going back up the hill. Oh god, the heat man. <laughs> this beanie's probably not helping either. Which way am I going? I've decided against going that way because up here there's big yellow safety warning signs and warning signs only mean one thing or two things that either something really cool is around the corner or it's dangerous not with both Jeez. they've got enough of them though Jesus well the safety signs didn't lead to anything super cool, it's just another viewpoint, but still, always follow the safety signs. Top tip. Mate, I'm sweating balls. This is bad. Oh well, that's me back at the car park. I think I'm making quite good time today. It's only two o'clock. I've still got potentially another six hours of driving if I wanted to, or six hours of traveling.
so I was having a look around the maps to see interesting things to do and I've come across this um, Japanese style or just Japanese garden I've never actually been to one so without going to you know Japan so I'm gonna go in or walk around take some photos but this is all things I find interesting or unusual and I like doing stuff that I'm not doing every day this was quite a random find but an interesting one anyway there's seven euros to come in through the bamboo forest Ooh. some awesome wee bonsai trees I think that's what they're called Some people take years and years over their whole lifetime, I think, pruning and growing these and make awesome shapes. You should look that up. Professional bonsai or <laughs> custom bonsai trees. But it's they're really cool. Have a look at them. I'm in full tourist mode here. But my channel is all about going out on an adventure, doing new things and having fun. This might not be fun, but it's new. This bit looks more like some sort of smuggler's pirate cove adventure land than uh, a Japanese garden with all the ropes. Yar! The fuck was that? <laughs> this is it. I think this is the spot I'm gonna camp for the night. In the shade, nice Japanese pond, just chilling, absolutely chilling. I can see why people come here to relax. Apart from the the road with the cars behind me. This is wild, I'm still in Ireland, like, you know. I still think this is mad, like, you're in this lovely Japanese garden and then just at the other side of the wall, you're back in Ireland, like. All right, that is my adventure into the Japanese garden. I'm sweating buckets again, but show goes on, back on the road. See where we're heading next. All the cool mountain roads are coming up. Just got to get there first. Just made a quick pit stop in Yol. Um, there's this really cool clock tower with an archway, as you can see down here. Uh, and I'm really in the mood for fish and chips now. I smell it on the way in. So I'm gonna grab that. I've uh, organized somewhere to stay. 
which is like a motorcycle kind of only camping ground. I don't have to be there till 11 o'clock. So hopefully I'll get the rest of the things I need to do today. In, there's a few places I want to stop in Cork, which is, I don't know, whatever, maybe you know, 30, 40 minutes away. Once I've done that, I'm gonna to head to the campsite. Yeah. Good plan, right? Just getting the last fuel stop of the day. There's a few places in Cork I want to visit and get some cool photos um, and then head to the, the campsite and that'll be a wrap for today. I'm only two minutes away from the first stop. That massive cathedral you've just seen is St. Coleman's Cathedral. It is like huge. I didn't think it was that big, but like it's just massive. Check the size. Now I need to find the right wall to uh, take my picture over. That was a bit of a pain in the arse taking that photo. Couldn't see what I was doing, so I was looking over the wall in a viewfinder. So <laughs> hopefully I got the photo, and hopefully my helmet's still at the bike when I get back. It's not my neck. I just had to go back and take the photos again because I managed to cut off the top of the spire from the cathedral, but it's all sorted now. This is my last photo stop for the day. I'm at Black Rock Castle and I'm going to just grab this quick photo and um, grab some food and head, head to the campsite. I'm completely wrecked. I don't know, in the last 20, 30 minutes, my back's just given out and my shoulders. But I've been on the go since 6 a.m. so it's not bad. 15 hours I've been on the go today, so I'll take that. Right, I'm going to grab this photo quickly. That is me full of chicken and I've only got another 25 minutes to go until I get to the campsite and that's it, the day's over, finally. I'm absolutely wrecked, my back's done. Around here. No bother. I've arrived at this rustic little uh, kind of farmhouse camping area. It's called Moto Farm. Um, I think there's a lot of motorbikes come here. There's this lovely guy, Thomas from Germany, who's got a old uh, Russian bike with a sidecar who told me he unfortunately had a wee crash of like two weeks ago and he's just got the parts and he's got it fixed like yesterday so myself and him but we're both heading up the wild atlantic way 
hopefully tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna call it a night.